Hello friends, we are starting our day out today, going to lunch with my aunt. I'm not going to film when I'm with her, because this will probably freak her out, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. But, um, we made plans to go to lunch with my other aunt, my mom's sister, and my sisters in a couple days, the day before I leave to go back home. So that'll be fun to see them again. I didn't think I would be able to. Um, my sister just worked a triple graveyard shift. Three days over in a row working night shift. So anyway, I didn't think I'd get a chance to see her again. So we're going out to my aunt's house. She lives out in the middle of legit nowhere. I won't say the name of the city because there's probably not much out there. Maybe even just her house and a couple more. I don't even know. So I'm not gonna say the name of the city, but it's out west of Salt Lake correct yes literal nowhere so we will pick up after we are done having lunch with her maybe we'll show anything in between but say hi Aaron hi Aaron <laughs> such a smart Alec okay let's go are you getting your you address? Oh, I need the me? address she needs the address Doobie, come here. Doobie, you wanna go for a walk? Oh, it's the next day. I'll explain here in a second. Doobie, you wanna go for a walk? Yep, yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, Zoe, you wanna go for a walk? Let's go get your leashes, okay? So it is the next day, it's actually almost noon, but we ended up staying at my aunt's house and talking to my aunt, and then we went to Cafe Rio and got lunch, and we came back to my aunt's house and then my cousin came over and we stayed there for six hours. <laughs> we just had so much fun talking and honestly this is like the first time I've met a cousin of mine as an adult that I completely clicked with and like we're kind of the same person and we're clearly like blood related. Like it, it was crazy because I only knew her like as a kid, like hanging out with her as a kid and haven't really kept in touch as an adult. And it was really interesting to like watch her as a mom. She has three boys and she's pregnant and do any day now with her fourth boy. And it was just really interesting to talk to her as an adult and as a mom and realize that we are so similar, like so, so similar. And that was just really fun for me. So we just ended up doing that all day. We did go and get another ice cream cone from Macy's, which was fantastic. But I think I'm gonna take Doobie here for a walk. Doobie, you wanna go for a walk? Yeah. Okay, let's get your leash. Come on. Also, this is one of Erin's Christmas presents from me. Is her little leash holder. So look at this one. This one says Doobie. And then this one here says Zoe. Isn't that cute? And she has it hung up here on the wall. This is my sister's rental house. Erin um, is Doobie's the red one. Yeah, I think Doobie has. But then the red. The red is doobies. Is this one the, the longer? Black, the black leash is better for him because it's longer. Okay. So and then the pink with the red is Zoe. Zoe. I think I might do just one dog at a time, but I'll come back. I don't think I could do the camera and. Oh, gotta keep you behind the camera, Aaron. Yeah. Well, um, I, I know. Okay. Let's get Zoe. Or no, we're gonna do Doobie. I did. I took Doobie out yesterday. And he did really good. So let's get him all, let's see if I can do this. Hey, come here. Yep, see look how good he is, he knows. Let's see, this needs to go, yep, like that. Okay, arms in, good boy. Okay, you know, you just keep your arms up. Okay, down, now this one, good boy. Yep, sorry, I'm not good at this. Okay, and then we bring this up. Let me clip. Look how good he is. He knows like that. Okay, should we go? Let's go. Look how excited he gets. Let's unlock the door. Oh, is that Doobie? Wait, wait, I gotta get shoes. Doobie, come. I, <laughs> I don't have shoes on. Doobie, come. Doobie, come. All right. Okay, I got new shoes. 
ready to go. Doobie, wait. <laughs> The only problem with coming furniture shopping with your sister is that you find something you want for yourself. Erin, take the camera and show what I found. It's a, it's a love seat rocker. And the problem is I want it. I can't have it though. Maybe. All right. You might call it a day. It's hard to film. And you've got like other people around you. My sister doesn't mind being filmed, but I don't know about her roommate. So her roommate was with us the whole time we were out looking at beds and dressers and mattresses. What else did we get today? But they got all that stuff. Um, but it just took forever. I think we were RC Willy for two plus hours. And then we left and went to Ashley Furniture and they were not impressed at all there and so we went back to Ashley or whatever. Went back to the first one and had a much better experience there. So we ended up getting all the furniture there. So um, then we came home, got a cookie and a drink from Fizz. If you are not familiar with Utah, they love their sugar cookie stores and their drink stores. Um, I got an Italian soda, but they didn't bother to put the cream in, which is why it makes it an Italian soda. <laughs> so I was kind of disappointed in that, but we had a good day. I'm just really tired. I actually took a nap when we got home while they were finishing making dinner. And then we had dinner and played a game. It taught me how to play casino with cards. Anyway, but I think I'm gonna take a shower and call it a night, watch TV, and I'm gonna start to edit kind of been putting that off one because I don't have a computer and two because the first two videos that I need to do are gonna be the hardest videos you'll have already seen them by now if you're watching this one but one of them is my mom's memorial video I took videos of the day of the funeral in the in the most private way that I could I guess I don't know what the word is I can't think of it um, private is, I guess, a good word. Trying not to show faces of my family members if they don't want to be on camera, but also trying to capture the memory of that day for me so that I can look back at it and use it to help me get through the grief. And um, I don't, I kind of mentioned it in the car the other day, but um, I don't feel like I'm able to grieve here at my sister's. And that's nothing against her, it's just. I have zero memories here. This isn't her house, this is a rental. I've never been here. I don't have any memories here, of even, even with her. My mom's never been here. Um, and even this area of town. I don't, like we've never, never gone to lunch at any restaurant around here with my mom. And I'm not with my family, I'm not with my friends. Like she wants to go to church on Sunday, my sister does but I need to let her go so that she can grieve with her friends and people at church that are wanting to console her and support her for losing her mom, but they're not my friends. And if I break down and get emotional, because I see my sister getting emotional, oh, I don't have anyone there that I know to, that would console me. And so then I would just be a mess and people would feel bad that they can't console me because they don't know me. So I'm not gonna go to church on Sunday, but my sister-in-law and my brother just invited us to dinner to their house Sunday, which is gonna be really nice to say goodbye to them. Oh, I don't wanna do this. This is all so hard. I know it's gonna be hard to leave here in a couple days, but I really need to get back home to my kids and my husband. My husband is like killing it at home and I don't talk about much about what he's doing back at home and I'm not having him film because between work and school and 
him being a mom on in the in between it's hard work and he's doing a really good job but I know he wants me home so he took him out to dinner tonight <laughs> he cheated and he asked for a meal to be brought in from ladies from church tomorrow night because he's kind of overwhelmed so I'm gonna get back home to him and take that load off and get my kids graduated from school <laughs> like we are gonna have a celebration for this end of the year and I am gonna get back and have to hurry and decorate for that party that I'm gonna throw my kids um, because it's been a rough year so I am gonna sign off with you guys tonight I didn't know I was gonna sit here and cry um, like I said I haven't really like dealt with the emotions um, since the week that I was at my family's house and I need to but this isn't the place to do it so um, I don't I really don't want that to, our days here with me and my sister um, I don't want it to seem ingenuous that we're not grieving um, everyone has to deal with this in their own way and for me I need to do it in a different space so I'm gonna sign off and I thank you for helping me get through this all your comments and your kind words and your prayers that are being offered for us feel them <clears throat> from all over the world and I thank you so I'm gonna sign off and I'll see you guys next time take care <laughs>